Hey, this is Doug and Doug and Nikki here in the outdoor testing studio. And today in this video, I am going to attempt to answer the three most common questions about this Run Hood solar generator, the Rally 600 Pro. It's a complete system which includes tons of batteries, accessories, solar panels, everything. So I'm gonna answer those three questions and then at the end, I am gonna include individual segments on each of the different parts so that you know how they work and or if you wanna buy them separately to add to your own system. All right, let's talk about the three most common questions I've heard about solar generators. So the first one is, how long does it take to charge the solar generator? So I've tested this a variety of ways. I think the most relevant question that you're gonna to wanna to know is how long does it take to charge it with the included 100 watt solar panels. So I'm in South Florida here and you're not gonna to get too much better sun and hours of sun and, and strength of sun to charge something. So my experience was if I hooked it up to two power bars, I put it outside on a nice sunny day, during the course of the day, it would charge those two power bars to about 40%. That was pretty much consistently my experience. Some days a little better, some days a little worse, but that was pretty much the answer. So what does that really mean to you if you're gonna get this? So I think the perfect application for this, I have two, right? The first perfect application is a power backup for here at the house if the power is gonna go out. And I think in that situation, seeing as this kit comes with four, <laughs> seeing as this kit comes with four power bars, I think it's perfect for like, if we know a hurricane's coming or a bad storm's coming, you plug it into the wall, you charge up all four of the power bars fully, and then you'll have a really solid, reliable source of power for a couple days to charge your cell phones, charge your tablets, run your laptops, run your CPAP machine, all those kind of basic life things for a couple days, and then you can augment it with the solar charger to give you a little more depth on it. The other use, which I think this is phenomenal for, is for camping, right? So if you're, if you have an RV or you're going camping and you, you're not, you're not a super boondocker, but you wanna be able to like pull off into the woods and stay there for two days, right? So if you keep this fully charged, right? You plug it in, keep it fully charged before you leave or when you're on your way down the road, you can pull off, park yourself in the woods, have a 600 watts of AC power. You can charge your cell phone, charge your tablet, watch a movie on a little projector, all those kind of things, and enjoy yourself for a good couple days without running out of power. And I think that really is a perfect spot for this. It's lightweight, it's easy to move around, it has that flexibility. Oh, and the other thing that's really great, which you'll see in the other video, is how flexible it is. Because you could take one of these power bars, put an adapter on it, and like, use it inside your RV or inside your tent, like just one power bar and a plug or a USB and be able to use it remotely like sitting next to the bed, something like that without this whole unit. Super flexible, I think that's super cool. Question number two, which is really common, is what kind of devices can you use with this? So obviously you have a maximum of 600 watts out. So you cannot take your hair dryer, your 1800 watt hair dryer and think you're gonna blow dry your hair, not gonna work. That's an obvious non-starter, not gonna work. But you can easily run your laptop, charge your phones, charge your tablets. Like I said, I ran a little cool little like portable projector to try that out, that worked fine. I did a test inside, I ran my TV to see like, I called it the the kids are bored during a storm test. How long could I run a TV off of this? I actually even ran my entire computer system, which included eight hard drives, four displays, and a, a whole desktop system. The whole thing, I was able to run that for a good two hours. Um, so you can do a lot with this, but you have to know it's a limit of 600 watts maximum. Number three, I guess I answered this a little bit, like how long will it provide power? So that really turns into a simple question of math in terms of the batteries, how many watts in, how many watts out. It tells you right on the display, which is super cool. As you plug in things, you can see the time that it's gonna last, go up or go down, and you can adjust accordingly depending upon what your needs are and your expectations are, right? So in the test of how long could it run a 43 inch TV and entertain the kids with two full power bars in it, um, 
those kids could sit there and watch TV for eight hours and be happy with the power out in the house. Um, absolutely, you can entertain them and get them off your back for eight hours. Two power bars, no problem. As I, as I described earlier, I have my full computer system, I mean the one that I'm editing videos on, tons of hard drives, tons of screens, a heavy duty desktop system, um, and it ran that for about two hours on a full charge. Overall, that was my experience with it. I'm gonna say this is absolutely a five out of five on the Doug score for what it is, right? If you want some lightweight power that's really durable, really flexible with all these different things, it's great for that. If you think you're gonna like survive on this for two weeks, it's not gonna happen. That's not really what it's designed for at all. So I think it's perfect for its application. It is not for when the zombies come, okay? For when the zombies come, you need some other version of power. This isn't gonna be it. But when the power goes out for two days, this is really a good stopgap. I really think it's great for that. So in any case, that's my opinion on it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you through and you can watch as much, you can skip around. Um, I'm gonna have all the different parts individually so you can take a look at them, think about them. And I hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time. All right, here it is the power generator now i do need to tell you this was provided to me by the company to do a review but with no instructions whatsoever so we're going to test it out if it's going to suck it's going to get a one on the doug score if it's amazing it's going to get a five but before we take it out and test it out let me tell you about it show you how it works some of those features so the beauty of this is it's adaptable right i have four of these power bars and in this unit you could put in two power bars at any one time let me show you how you put those power bars in Take out the cover, take the power bar itself, slide it in, that's all there is to it. I now have power going to the unit. I could put two of these to get the full 600 watts of power. I could have another two outside charging solar while I'm using this here. I could even use a third with one of the other adapters. But let me show you how the unit itself works. So now that it's plugged in, you can see I turned it on. The readout gives you how much power it is. I haven't charged that bar up yet, so I have 35% power. I can power nine different things at one time. There are two 110 volt AC. There are two 100 watt USB-Cs, two USB-As. There's also a conventional car style charger as well as some DC out. Additionally, not that it's Totally important, but it's nice. It does have a nice bright LED. I think that's really cool, just in case, you know, obviously the power's out, that's why we're using this. And it has a strobe in case there's an emergency. Let me give you an example of how much power things use. Let's say it's a hurricane. I'm here in Florida. I want a fan. Let's plug a fan into it. I only have 35% power, but let's plug in the fan. Plug that in, turn on the AC. Good, let's turn this on, put the fan, turn this on, put the fan on. Okay, so the fan is on. I'm pulling a whole 10 watts. I got the fan on, actually it feels kind of nice out here. Um, and this will run at 35% power, we'll run this fan for 11 hours. Let's get all wild, let's have it oscillate. There we go, full oscillation. Let's see what that looks like. There it goes. Interesting, it doesn't pull any more power. I would've thought it pulled more power. Okay, let's talk about what else comes with it and let's take, take it outside, charge things up with solar power and really see how it works. With the kit, there are a ton of ways to charge it. You comes with a 110 charger comes with an adapter to directly charge it via the solar panels and it also comes with a classic car connector so you could charge it if you're if you're camping and you want to charge it off your RV or your van life kind of thing you can do that absolutely just plug it into the lighter or the power outlet and you're good one other key feature I wanted to tell you about obviously we saw it run the fan it used almost no power to run a fan you, the most of us are going to want to be able to charge our cell phones our iPads, use our laptops, watch TV, all that kind of stuff. And the key to all those things that I just said are they are electronics and very sensitive to the quality of the power that comes out. You could buy one of those cheap like contractor open frame generators that make a ton of noise, may make more than 600 watts of power, but 
the power that comes out of those is really dirty and if you plug in your electronics for more than a short period of time, you're asking for trouble. This has a pure sine wave, so you're gonna be able to comfortably use all of your electronics as much as you want without having to worry about damaging. Okay, a little crazy but true, but here in my hand in this small briefcase size thing, and it is super lightweight if you're a camper, is a 100 watt six panel system for solar charging of your portable power devices. This 100 watt system is both waterproof and coated with UV protective coatings, long lifetime, even when camping and that kind of stuff. Let's set it up, talk about it. Let's see how long it takes to do a little temporary setup right here. You just open it. Oh man, how cool is this? So these are, so these rubberized panels use a monoline crystal technology, which uses multiple layers, bottom line, 23% more powerful than most similar sized panels. They have these really nice built-in Velcro kickstands on the back. So all you have to do is unpack this little briefcase, set it up when you go camping and you have power. Or if I'm here in Southern Florida, if we have one of those crazy hurricanes and we're not gonna have power for a couple days, I have a hundred watts of power. I can charge two of my power bricks at any one time all day, as long as the sun's even a little bit out, I can move that needle and have power in those kind of emergencies. Overall, this is ridiculously cool. I can't believe how late it is for a 100 watt system. I really think this is a good idea. All right, so this here is the Run Hood DC converter. This means you can plug it into your energy bar and do crazy stuff. So you have two PD connections, which let's translate that, that's USB-C with 100 watts out. That is flaming fast. You should be able to charge your phone to like 80% in 10 minutes easily. You could also run a small laptop off of that super easily. And then you also still have two QC 3.0s, or let's just call it USB-A. Okay, so a regular USB connection at 28 watts, which is also pretty darn powerful. Overall, this is so super flexible, right? Because all you need is your 324 watt hour power bar. You put this on the end, you just simply go like this, snaps on, hit the power, get a little beep, and you now have four high power outlets for all of your portable devices, and it will charge them pretty much forever. I mean, obviously look at the size of this battery, which again is less than four pounds. What a great combination. Okay, that's right, here it is. This is the Run Hood AC 80 watt power station. This thing is so little, so light, so versatile, so cool. That's a lot of so's. Okay, so what can you do with it? The beauty of this is it makes a pure sine wave. So let's say the power's out in your house, you have the solar outside charging one of your energy bars, you got the big power station in another room, but you wanna go sit quietly and do some work on your laptop. So you want that nice pure sine power. All you do is you just grab one of these energy bars, plug this in, turn it on, and you now have 80 watts of pure sine power, perfect for using, if you have to temporarily use a CPAP machine, electronics in particular, you wanna watch TV, you wanna use your laptop, that kind of stuff. Overall, this is a great adaptation to be able to use this remotely, portably, wherever you are. It gives you just so much more flexibility with this extra little attachment. Part of what makes that whole composite system work really well. I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time. All right, here in my hand is the 324 watt hour power bar. This is really useful because you can use this independently with one of those adapters or you could put two of them in the unit and get 600 watts of power. You can also plug it in directly into the solar panel and charge it that way. So if you have more than one of these, you can easily have two of them going on here being using the AC power in the house. At the same time outside, you could have it charging with solar, your third one or your fourth one outside charging in the solar. They only weigh a little over three pounds. So if you're a camper and let's say you're backpacking, you're really camping, right? You could just bring one of these, a solar panel and one of these adapters 
And whenever you get to your camp, you just simply set up the solar panel, charge this up, and then at night you just hook on your adapter and you have your either USB or 110 power, whatever you want. It is light, it's not gonna burden you. As we discussed, if you're more extravagant and let's say you got an RV and you're boondocking, right? Then you could bring the whole system. You could bring all four of these power bars, the solar panel, the unit, so that you have that 600 watts of power and you could have it all going on at the same time independently, differently. Overall, this is a great part of a system which can be used independently. I think that's super smart. I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time.